Blackfoot Communications is committed to supporting Bozeman businesses. From intelligent network solutions like SD-WAN to fast and reliable fiber-based services, Blackfoot delivers innovative ways for your business to succeed. Blackfoot Communications. Connect to more. Coach, can you please get started with an opening statement? Okay, it certainly was a, a, a tough physical basketball game, without a doubt. You know, two teams fighting to get to the championship game. You expect nothing, nothing less uh, from the two and three seed going at it. Um, but I was really proud of our, our players, the way we responded um, after halftime. We, you know, we, we talked at halftime about really uh, kind of bowing up and matching their physicality if that's the way the game was going to be. And um, you know, I'm just so proud of the way these guys responded in that second half, especially defensively in that third quarter when we just locked them down and took them out of their, took them out of their game the way they kind of had done at the start of the game. Um, I thought defensively we were fantastic in that third quarter and it really flipped the game. When you're in such a tight game like that with the physicality and intensity and so much on the line, what is the conversation like at halftime? Uh, basically, I said, look, we, we have to match their physicality right now. They are, they are just trying to pound us into the ground. You know, every entry pass, we're getting pounded. We're just getting pounded. And I said, you got you to bow up. You just got to bow up and you got to match it. If you want to get to the championship game, that's what I, it can go two ways. You got to bow up and match it or we're going to lose. And uh, it was our choice. And, and my kids' attitude flipped and they just said, we're not, we're not going to take any kind of pounding. We, we're going we're gonna to give it back. And uh, I love the way we responded. Natalie, what was it that you and your teammates had to do to keep yourselves mentally in a game, especially just close down the line? Yeah, I think like going into halftime, we all just like felt like all that physicality had us a little bit frazzled. I think a big part of it was just taking a deep breath and like having the confidence in ourselves, knowing that we were the better team and playing more like it. You and your teammates were able to score 36 points in the paint. Kind of tell me what you saw down low. Um, you know, they were switching on our screens, and so that was like a big thing going into our game plan that we talked about um, just taking advantage of that and getting a pass and then also I just think it was there so like we just kept going for it. You know it's kind of talk about what this win means to you um, especially knowing that you did not have the opportunity to compete for a championship last year. Yeah this uh, win means a lot to me to the team to everyone you know coach and staff um, we just all put in so much hard work this entire season to get here has been the goal ever since the start of the season um, and ever since honestly um, last last year when we didn't get to the chance to play and so um, we all just really wanted to make this one count and get here again and uh, I think we're all just super excited to get to play. Coach you guys had a 10 rebound advantage on the boards was that a focus coming into tonight's game? Absolutely I, I really felt like we had a, a big advantage in the paint with uh, with these two guys. And it's something we really wanted to take advantage of. I knew we could get them on the glass. I really felt like um, that these two had a, had a big advantage, like I said. And uh, you know, I was glad we started really going to it uh, in that second half. You definitely are able to pass the ball, having 13 assists. Talk about the ball movement today. That's another thing we talked about at halftime, <laughs> of not just standing there dribbling around and letting them take us out of our offense. You know, I said, the ball's got to be moving. We got to be moving. And you saw a huge difference in the second half in our ball movement and the cutting. Um, which really picked up because in that first half, we were, we were pretty stagnant, uh, certainly in a lot of stretches. So I loved our movement in the second half. Natalie, not to add extra fuel to the fire, but what is it like to be going up against Idaho State for the Big Sky Championship in a couple days? I mean, it definitely means a lot, especially after last year. Um, and like, then again, like last year we beat them in the semis. That was a great game for us. And so I think that we match up with them well. I mean, we had a great game with them at home that second go around. And so I think we're all fired up and ready for it. Yeah, let's talk about the hard work and maybe a little bit of extra emphasis that this year has caused to be able to get to this moment and for you and your teammates to be playing for a Big Sky Championship at the tournament. Yeah, I think, um, you know, just uh, the hard work has really just been motivated by the fact that we can't get anything for granted, especially after last year. You know, um, at any moment, the game could have been our last. And so just playing um, with that passion every time. And uh, yeah, I think that's kind of what fed the fire for us. Coach, what is the focus that you guys have to have so we can come away and beat the Bengals? 
Well, we're gonna have to bring that same energy and effort defensively. Um, you know, they're a great team and they got a lot of firepower. And, uh, you know, they're, they're gonna be physical, we know that. We gotta match that, but, you know, they're also very skilled. And um, we're just gonna be, have to be really focused on, on the plan and the game plan. And, uh, you know, I think we're, we're gonna have to have that same ball movement we saw uh, on us in the second half. But again, it's really gonna come down to that, that energy and that effort, I think, on Friday. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Coach, can you please start with an opening statement? Uh, well, to start, I'm, I'm really proud of the squad and uh, uh, what they've uh, overcome, like so many teams, in a very unusual and difficult and challenging year. And we've done it with a very young group. And uh, these two kids uh, on both sides of me have been just tremendous leaders along the way, getting people to, to grow as we've gone. And, accomplished a lot this season and uh, there's always kind of be that kind of final final stop and uh, it wasn't our night tonight but uh, just really proud of this group. Coach can you just talk about the intensity that you saw from your team from start to finish? Well yeah I think sometimes you can want it so badly that it kind of takes you out of just uh, kind of settling in and playing your game and at the start of the game I thought it might be a 90 point game for both teams. Uh, both teams came out really hot and just thought it had great flow to it and uh, kind of took some momentum into halftime and uh, credit Idaho that came right back in that third quarter and just didn't respond the right way. And and just, you know, it, we had a lot of breakdowns and, you know, uh, with a, a team like that, it seemed like every time we had a breakdown, they exposed it and uh, hit a shot. And this time of year, you gotta be super sharp and we just weren't able to do that down the stretch. Idaho was able to score 36 points in the paint. Can you just talk about how maybe that hurt a little bit for the Bobcats? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're kind of a team that uh, wants to build a wall pretty pretty effectively, and they got a lot of lane line penetration, they got a lot of slips, and um, so just uh, once again, like I said, it, this is a team that shoots a three a lot, but can't give up two things. So you gotta you gotta make sure that uh, you keep them in check. You have some contested shots, so they kind of got a little bit of everything on us, and so so great job by them, really penetrating hard and and kind of getting some hips, and and uh, weren't able to, to finish that job. Tori, just talk about the mentality coming out of halftime. You guys went into halftime, the energy was there. You had everything needed. What was this a conversation like before right before the second half? Um, I think just going into the half with the same intensity that we did the first half and I don't know, just continuing to play defense and doing what we do. But I think they came out of half a little bit stronger than we did. Not showed in the third quarter. Coach, you guys had 22 points from your bench. Can you just talk about that team play? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of been who we've been uh, all season long. We've had a variety of kids stepping up and, uh, you know, you're just trying to find uh, the right group and right mix at the right time and uh, and have those uh, those sparks off the bench. And I think that's been huge for us and, and that's been a strength all season long. And uh, so uh, how everybody's responded uh, when their name's been called has been tremendous. Uh, everybody's risen to the, to the table, but they've also been great teammates. Uh, this team has celebrated the success of each other all season long. It's been one of the most amazing benches when you got to create your energy without that crowd noise and the atmosphere that we, we've been used to. Tori, you played with so much confidence in the first half. What maybe flipped that for to the Idaho momentum in the second half? Um, I think we kind of just went in a stretch of things weren't going or dropping and we panicked a little bit, I think. And I think that swung into their momentum as well. And just, I don't know, kind of went that spiral a little bit when we weren't hitting our shots. I panicked even too. Coach, you played a lot of lineups today, like you have all year. What advantages did that provide, provide for you tonight? Uh, well, typically it just keeps some fresh legs on the floor, you know, especially if uh, you're coming off the bench, you've had a chance to see some things in action and how to respond to that. And, uh, you know, that's where we, we um, where we've been super strong. We've been kind of consistent across the board and we've been contagious in both ways when things are going well, but also when, when things are struggling, I think that's been a little bit contagious too. So I, I think that's a, a opportunity for us to grow and learn and, and really uh, settle in with things that we can control. And I thought that's where we got off and we tried to make some, some, some big plays rather than just some solid plays. But uh, overall, our bench has been fantastic all year. This has been a very deep team. Um, it's, it's been a, and I think that's been a strength for us and it will continue in the future. Darian, you and other teammates are coming back strong. What do you think that this team can do for the next few years? Um, we like to focus on defense, especially. I think we're a very young, talented team. Um, 
we're a very versatile team. We have a deep bench, and I think that's going to carry over for the next few years with being aggressive and just um, being attack minded and consistent. Sticking with that forward, uh, with that thought process of moving forward, last season, of course, ended abruptly, and this season was a tough loss for you to end this way. How do you let that motivate you going forward? Um, just to learn from our mistakes, you know, just like what Ben said, that, you know, we're a young team, but we're experienced now, and so we got to learn from our mistakes and what we did wrong and just carry on from what the coaches want um, from our program and just get better every day. Tori, can you talk about what this program has accomplished through your years at MSU? Yeah, um, it's been crazy. Honestly, I don't, can't believe it's been four years, but it's been so amazing. Just coming in freshman year to now, it's been so much fun. And just having Coach Ben be our coach has been so amazing. And just the team dynamic that's changed throughout the last four years has been incredible. And the team this year is so close and so fun. But yeah, I don't know. It's just been a fun four years. <laughs> Coach, you said after the South Dakota State game that you felt that you could make a run, and then you did. How much fun was it this year for you as a coach, and how proud of you are you as a team? Yeah, we told the kids it's been one of our most fun seasons ever, even despite all of the adversity of uh, protocols. And uh, I won't lie, um, not having to test what got up your nose every day, I, I will miss that um, for a while. But um, uh, at the same time, like this team has had ridiculous fun and they keep us young even though I need to do my hair I've been avoiding getting my hair done because we've been trying to limit exposure uh, but this this group this is why we coach uh, we love these kids uh, they make they make fun. every day you, you keep going to another kid and you're like you make life fun and um, for them to be open arms uh, and trust us uh, every day is a true blessing to be able to be this coach for this team Darren, what is something you want Montana State fans to know about the Bobcat Women's Basketball Program? Oh man, that's a lot. Um, just that we are such a close team and that we care about one another and no matter what's going on with COVID or anything in our lives, we're always going to be there for one another and we're truly like a family. I know this is hard, Tori, but if you can describe your career in one word, maybe two, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you one word, trigger. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, it's your question. <laughs> I don't know. I'd just say growth. Like I feel like these last four years, I've grown so much on and off the court. And just I've got an amazing career that I've gotten to study while I'm here. And that, that doesn't happen for most people, getting a day nursing degree while playing college basketball. And I'm just so like incredibly blessed that Coach Ben has been able to help me through that. So, yeah. Thank you, ladies.